नमस्ते हर एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल दिन हाई माई नेम इज पापरी आई क्रिएट कॉन्टेंट रिलेटेड टू कोरियन कल्चर ब्यूटी एंड लाइफ स्टाइल सो टूडे वी आर ड्राइविंग इन टू अ वेरी स्पेशल कॉन्सेप्ट इन कोरियन कल्चर झोंग झोंग रिप्रेजेंट्स लव अफेक्शन एंड अ डीप इमोशनल बॉन्ड दैट कनेक्ट्स द पीपल इन कोरिया बट डू यू नो दैट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज डीपली रूटेड इन एवरी डे लैंग्वेज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर सम ब्यूटिफुल कोरियन ईडियम्स रिलेटेड टू झोंग एंड आई एल ऑल्सो शेयर द सिमिलर मीनिंग्स इन हिंदी एज वेल टू शो दैट दीज आइडियाज रेजनेट अक्रॉस द कल्चर so the first idiom we are looking at is chongi dilda the idiom means to develop affection and grow attached to someone over a period of time and in hindi we would say like dil lag gaya it like perfectly captures the gradual attachment and affection that forms between people whether it's with friends family or even at a new place chongi dilda reflects the growing emotional and bond next is jhongal nanuda this idiom means to share affection love and kindness with others it often used to describe the act of care like helping someone out or simply being there for them in hindi we have similar phrase pyar baantna which means to share love just like in korea where people often express their affection through small acts of kindness in india also too sharing love is like a way to strengthen the bonds with those around us so the next is jhongi gada which means to feel attached or to grow fond of someone it's that the warmth you feel when you are naturally gravitated towards someone in hindi we say like dil aa gaya which also means that you have started to feel affection for someone or something this idiom reminds us that the love and attachment can develop in most unexpected ways so now the fourth one is myun chong gun chong tha dhuratta this means that you have grown both fond and weary of someone yet you are still deeply connected it's like a kind of bond that you form through experiencing both good and bad times together in hindi we have similar saying khatte mithe rishte which refers to relationships that have both sweet and sour moments but remain strong because of those shared experiences the last idiom we will talk today is the jhongi nomchida this means overflowing with affection it's used to describe a person or an atmosphere that's full of warmth kindness and love in hindi we would say like pyar se bhara whether it's a person who radiates warmth or a situation that makes everyone feel loved chongi nomchida reminds us of the power of affection in creating a positive and connected environment So that's the glimpse into the world of Chong. As you can see, the idea of Chong is not only just a word, but also a way of life presents in every conversation, action, and relationship. And we have seen similar ideas of love, affection, and bonding exist in other cultures, like in our language Hindi as well. So if you enjoyed this exploration of Korean idioms, then don't forget to like this video and also share with others, and also subscribe to my channel for more such content like this, and also comment. down below your thoughts on this video i shall see you in my next video till then take care of yourself stay positive be happy bye